This video is in collaboration with No Issue. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another studio vlog and I thought in this vlog I would focus completely on how I pack my orders. So as you may know, I have different types of products so they also require a different type of packing. I have like tote bags, all notebooks, all small things like stickers and bookmarks. So each one of those products kind of has a different way of me packing them and I thought in this video I would go through a couple of them. The first thing I always do before I actually start packing is creating all of the shipping labels. So I have to do all of the address and I like copy paste them into this program that creates my shipping labels. And I already did this whilst watching a Disney movie because I've done this so many times already and I don't really have to think about it. So I can just do it whilst watching, for example, a film. After I've printed all of the shipping labels, it is time to start packing. So let's take a look at how I pack some of my orders and I will explain to you exactly how I do it. Hello, so we're currently at my desk and I thought I would show you where I like store my packing products and the things I use for packing. So I'm at my desk, there is my little, um, trash can, my printer. Here I have the tape that I use as well as some boxes, but I have more boxes in storage in my bedroom in a big cupboard, but you know, I always have a few here, so it's easier for me to just grab it. And then we have this little drawer. This is my sticker cutting machine. It's always here because I just use it a lot, so it doesn't make sense to constantly store it. But this is what I use to create like logo stickers, like my basically red logo stickers, as well as the little closing stickers for my packages. I'll just quickly go through this cabinet. So up here, I just have all of my bookmarks, so I don't really use this for packing, but I do have this little roll of stickers and these stickers say thank you and I use these to you know stick a little thank you note on my packages and right here I have a row of stamps that I use for Dutch orders but these are just all of my bookmarks but down here I have the things that I use most so the little freebie stickers you will see those when I'm packing orders as well as some envelopes again I have more of everything just in storage but I always just you know put a few over here so it's easy for me to grab. So I have the cardboard envelopes, some regular envelopes, and these are some bigger envelopes, as well as the little thank you cards, these paper bags, and these smaller paper bags that I use for like a pin or washi tape. So these are actually the things that I use most for packing. Oh, I have some more over here. These are some cardboard backing for bookmarks and here as well. So yeah, this is most of the things that I use for packing orders. Sometimes I have a bigger order then I have to grab a bigger box, but you know, these boxes work fine. These are smaller boxes. And I have my tissue paper there as well. And thought I would quickly just show you these, that this is just my washi tapes and my notepads and some pins here as well. So yeah, this is my little drawer next to my desk where I can easily just grab everything when I'm packing orders. Okay, so it is time to start packing. I'm always really excited to pack orders because it's the most fun thing about, you know, doing my online shop. So as you can see, I am packing a sticker order here. I always add a few little extra stickers. It kind of depends on the price of the entire order, how many I add, but most of the time it's like one, two or three. Um, so as you can see, I use a little paper bag. This is actually a paper bag and it is pressed in a specific way to make it very sturdy and it really protects the stickers. And I just close it up with a little sticker and write a little thank you card with a thank you sticker. And then I just put it in one of these cardboard mailers so that it won't bend. And of course I do a little basically Brit sticker and just do some doodles on that to make it a bit more fun. another order. This is for bookmarks and as you can see I add a little extra cardboard there to make sure that it won't bend in the mail because I don't have bigger mailers that have like a cardboard backing so I just use a little bit of cardboard and I put these ones in these brown paper bags because unfortunately these bookmarks are a little bit too big to fit in the other paper bags and the white ones but I think in this one it also looks really cute and again I just use a little sticker and some of my washi tape to close it up. And of course, a little thank you card. And then I just put it in a big envelope with my logo sticker and again, some doodles. Mm -hmm. 
For the next order, I'm wrapping a tote bag. And this is actually also tissue paper that I designed with no issue. It has my own logo on it, which is so cool. And I just fold the tote bag again, of course, with some extra stickers and a little thank you card. And honestly, this tissue paper is my favorite ever. I can't believe I have my own tissue paper. <laughs> and again, I just, you know, close it with a little sticker and with some washi tape to make a cute little wrapped package. <laughs> For tote bags, I use a little cardboard box. I have to fold them myself because um, they come just, you know, flat, but it's super easy. And then I just close it up like this, but I will close it up with some very special tape very soon. You will hear about that later on in the video. I also had to cut some extra freebie stickers as well as regular stickers. I always find this machine so magical. It just cuts my stickers as like a kiss cut. So the backing is still intact and then you can just take the sticker of the paper, which is so cool. And lastly, I just have to clean up and do some final touches, do some orders. So now that I've packed all of the orders and closed up most of the orders, I still have to close the boxes. And I use a very exciting tape for that, namely this new tape. This is created by No Issue and I'm actually collaborating with No Issue on this video. I was lucky enough to be able to design my own closing tape to close up my boxes. As you can see, the tape arrives in this really amazing paper, but this is what my tape looks like. As you can see, it has a lot of sunflowers on there because they are my favorite. So I'll tell you a little bit more about No Issue because No Issue is a brilliant company. They focus all about creating sustainable and eco-friendly packing materials like this tape or tissue paper or mailers, but they now also have 100% organic cotton tote bags. I actually also made a video about those tote bags. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out up here. But for this one I've designed this tape it is super easy to design you have this cool design tool on the website so it already tells you what it kind of looks like and of course you also get like a preview um, just via the mail to see if it's completely what you want and if you want to change anything their customer service is brilliant they can definitely help you with any problems or questions that you might have the thing I love most about no issue is that they are completely eco-friendly all of their products are either like recyclable or reusable and they also plant one tree per order in areas in the world that need a little help with reforestation. If you have your own shop or you're just excited to learn more about No Issue, definitely don't forget to check out the link in my description. So I'm pretty sure you can tell that I am incredibly happy with this tape from No Issue. So now let's take a look at how I close up all of my packages using this tape. So now I'm just going to close these boxes using this really fun tape. So what I did is I just cut them into the right pieces so for the, short, uh, the small boxes and then for the bigger boxes and then I just put a little bit of water on the sponge use it to you know coat the tape like this and then I can put it on the box so let's just close all of the boxes So as you saw, I also went on a little walk because every time I take the packages to the post office, I immediately combine it with a little walk because it's good to go outside and you know be in nature, have some fresh air. So it's always the perfect opportunity to go for a walk because of course I work from home, so I don't go to the office every day. So I really have to go outside, you know, consciously to go on a walk because it's good for the brain and for the body. <laughs> but this was how I package all of my orders. I really hope you liked it. If you have any questions about anything that I use for packing, don't hesitate to just ask it in the comment section and I can always answer it there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this vlog. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a little green plant, anything green or like a green heart because of, you know, eco-friendly packaging and using no plastic. If you want to follow me on my 
social media. I always link everything down below in the description. And last but not least, I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.